What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'm going to talk about the Witches Festival here in the Elder Scrolls Online, which begins next Thursday, October the 20th at 10 a.m. Eastern and runs until Wednesday, November the 2nd at 10 a.m. Eastern. If you'd like to read over all the event details, I will have all this information linked down in the description below. Now, when it comes to how you start, uh, you know, the Witch Mother's Bargain Quest, that will be available in the Crown Store, or you can pick it up from the Crow Caller located outside of the breweries in Stone Falls, Glen Umbra, or Ordon. Complete the introductory quest and receive the Witch Mother's Whistle Tool. If you have done this quest in the past, you've participated in the event before, you will already have that uh, whistle, so you will not need to you know, obtain it again. You use the whistle to receive a two-hour 100% XP buff and summon the Witch Mother's Cauldron, which you can use to polymorph yourself into a scary skeleton. Uh, just make sure that you know that you do not have to have the cauldron to gain the XP buff, just the whistle. So you cannot summon the cauldron in, Senate, uh, in Cyrodiil as well, so remember that. But if you're wanting that 100% XP buff, the whistle gives you that. The cauldron is just something there, kind of extra for fun. Like I said, to kind of you know, tr uh, transmute yourself into that or polymorph yourself into that scary skeleton. Now, when it comes to what you can get during this event, anytime you defeat a boss monster, you can you pick up a plunder skull and get a chance to get things like a witch tamed bear pet fragment, uh, some things for your alchemy crafting, a festival themed furnishing recipe, a festival themed provisioning recipe, a complete festival themed furnishing, and a festival themed treasure. Also, you have a chance of one of these items, a Hallowjack style item or a Dramora style item. Uh, some things like worms, crawlers, guts, and insect parts will be available as well. Even better, each time you uh, overcome a different type of boss for the first time that day, you'll receive a special Dramora Plunder Skull that contains the above items in addition to Dramora Motif Chapters, uh, a Witch's Festival Writ, or a chance to get a Ristal, uh, Witch's Festival Writ, Treasure Maps, uh, Armor Outfit Style Pages, the Grave Dancer Weapon Style Page, and two new items this year, the Ghastly Memento Rune Box or the Tradable Style page for the Witch Mother's uh, Servant Armor Style. Now, different types of bosses include things like Arena Bosses, Invasion Bosses from Dark Anchors, Horror Storms, Volcanic Events, uh, Delve Bosses, Final Dungeon Bosses, Public Dungeon Bosses, and World Bosses. So there's a lot of different ways that you can you know, get these Plunder Skulls and be able to try to get some of these rewards that are available. During the Witch's Festival, you also can require the Daily Quest title uh, plucking the crow by speaking with the witch mother located inside the brewery at you know of course the event uh, tent uh, during this you can get the reward for completing this quest and provides a small chance to grant you a massive trove of tradable witches festival goodies instead of the regular uh, regular plunder skull items so you can get things like 10 witch uh, tamed bear dog fragments the full style book of the dramora motif a, a folly of treasure maps ghastly memento rune box and a random witch mother servant style page also during this event there will be event tickets Th throughout the event you can get a total of 28 tickets and all just remember you can't hold but 12 at a time so make sure you're spending the tickets that you have because if you do have 12 and you start to gain more tickets after that you will not receive them because 12 is the cutoff for this event uh, you'll have the option to buy from the event vendor all three Soulfire Dragon Illusion Pet Fragments. The first fragment for the uh, Sacred Hourglass of Alkosh Furnishing, which I know a lot of people are looking forward to having in their home. Uh, the Ghastly Memento, also the Witch Mother Servant Armor Style Pages. Uh, the event specific furnishings uh, from just, you know, the Witch Mother's event will be available at the event vendor as well. Group Repair Kits, uh, the Companion Guild Accommodations and the witch's grab bag which is some stuff from the past events over the last few years if you do not participate in them uh, the first opportunity to begin collecting the fragment for the final uh event of the you know this year so that sacred hourglass of alkosh this is the first time we've been able to get that so make sure you know, you're kind of caught up on everything that you're getting uh you know or that you've been getting for from these events throughout the year so you can make sure that you're getting that fragment because i know a lot of people have been talking about that hourglass for quite a while now when it comes to you know the other things you can get from the event vendor you also will have the option to get the Indric feathers and everything that you need for your Indrics. if you do not play over you know the last several years and you're still interested in getting those Indric mounts uh, of course to be able to get these event tickets or how you can get event tickets every day uh, all you have to do is defeat the first boss you know each day 
Once you defeat that boss, you will get those tickets and you will earn two tickets every day when you defeat the first boss for that day. So like I said, that's gonna allow you to get 28 tickets total, two tickets a day. Anyway guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so and I'll catch you next time. Peace.